In this video we want to show you how to create an experiment from scratch. <coughs> Everything starts from the new experiment tab where you would select an environment, name your experiment and just launch it with the selected environment. Then you can already navigate in your experiment but what we want first is to add a robot from the robot library, select a brain from the brain library The brain you could also edit by yourself or completely write from scratch. Now what you want is to create populations for your transfer functions to refer to, to your neuron. Now you write or upload existing transfer functions and you adapt them to your robot giving the proper topic names and the proper populations that you created before. You see the robot is turning around itself. This is defined by one of the transfer functions. Now what you can do is to add objects to the simulation environment. For example, this screen that we can switch to red. And one of the transfer functions of this robot is reacting to red. You can use, of course, all the visualization tools further on. Your simulation is ready. Another approach is to clone an existing template experiment like this famous P3DX pioneer experiment where the robot has to follow a path in the form of a square. Here what we will do is add a second robot, give it a brain and create transfer functions similar to those that we created in the first part of the video so that the husky robot, the, the wheeled robot is uh, attracted by the red color. Now that we click play you will see that the robot moves towards the pioneer red robot. This shows you that you can also have simulations with multiple robots. Here we have two but we could have more. And each of them can use dis uh, different populations 